Hi, Commissioner Turk. Let me at the outset appreciate you and your office for hosting this commemorative event and historic occasion of the celebration of the 75th anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which sets down the basic human rights principles and fundamental freedoms. The Declaration has inspired international human rights standards and institutions which have improved the lives of many around the world. This commemorative year of the Declaration comes at the time when the world is facing one of the most challenging periods of all times, namely conflicts between states and democratic changes of governments, adverse effects of climate change and humanitarian crises. Despite all these challenges, the Universal Declaration has remained the most viable and living document which we can draw inspiration from to address human rights violations. I now wish to share the following pledges from my government as a demonstration of our political will and commitment to the principles that formed the basis of the Universal Declaration. One, to fast track the establishment and operationalization of the Human Rights Commission, which is in compliance with the Paris principles and other international standards to strengthen Lesotho's capacity to promote and protect human rights and reduce the backlog of state party reports in line with her domesticating and reporting commitments as enshrined in regional and international human rights law, and to extend standing invitations for country visits to the special procedures of the Human Rights Council and to receive country visits from any of the thematic special procedures mandates. High Commissioner, with these pledges, my government recommits its dedication to observing and guarding against human rights violations in all forms and views accountability and openness as fundamental pillars of good governance. In conclusion, I wish to take this opportunity to emphasize that Lesotho will take concrete steps and tangible efforts towards the implementation of its obligations under the Declaration, which has stood the test of time and is testament to the enduring universality of the values of equality, justice, and human dignity. We need to continue to breathe life to the aspirations of the Declaration. There is no action which is too small. In all our spaces, we can make a difference. I thank you.